from this point, we're going to pivot into the kayfabe tier list. This is a visual tracker created by our very own Steven to track the mobility of certain members of WWE's roster in terms of credibility and presentation. This is the post Fastlane edition. I want to discuss something interesting because we get a lot of questions on every single time the kayfabe tier list is posted because you see the grades a plus a a minus b plus all of that is very easy to understand we all went to school you know we got that stuff down but there is a very special portion of that kayfabe tier list right there and brock lesnar stands alone in his own tier the s tier could you go ahead and give us a quick explanation as to what the s tier is that is basically the undertaker tier and the reason why the undertaker is not in that tier anymore and brock lesnar is is because Brock Lesnar beat The Undertaker. Beat his ass. So, yeah. yeah, the only reason that exists is because of The Undertaker. Otherwise, Lesnar would be another A+, plus because Undertaker was the only guy so above and beyond the rest of the roster that beating him puts you in your own league. Otherwise, he would be in his own league. And I did have him with Lesnar up there for a while until I sort of felt like his credibility waned a little bit. But yeah, that's what the S tier is. It, it, all it means is that he is on his own level in terms of credibility. And so he it means special, is. it means super. So. It means super, yeah. And he okay. absolutely is on his own level, there's no question about it that. It means he's broken, because the tier list is a callback to fighting games, and usually when you are when you get your own tier like that, it kind of means you're broken. So if this was like a video game, Lesnar would be banned. You, you couldn't play <laughs> him in competitive play. Okay, so here's the reason why I asked you to explain what the S tier was. Because now we saw on Monday Night Raw that Dean Ambrose will face Brock Lesnar at WrestleMania. And while I'm excited for that match, specifically speaking on the kayfabe tier list, in my own opinion, I believe that Dean Ambrose, with the, where, with the place that he's positioned in right now, going up against a person like Brock Lesnar, whether Brock Lesnar wins or loses against Dean Ambrose, I just think that this match seems very pedestrian for a person like Brock Lesnar. And like I said, win or lose, I think that that position in the S tier is at threat. I can understand why you would say that, but uh, first of all, it's, it's a no-holds-barred match. So... If this was a straight-up singles match, look, it also, if you hear someone screaming in the background, that's my brother. It's kind of making me laugh here. <laughs> um, Your brother's screaming because Brock Lesnar is in jeopardy at the top of the tier list. <laughs> <laughs> that's the problem. Um, if this was a straight-up wrestling match, then yeah, uh, Dean Ambrose would have no chance. It's a no-holds-barred match, and we know that's one of Brock Lesnar's weaknesses, especially if he brings out the stairs. That's when you know Brock is in trouble because both of his losses in the WWE have been at the hands of stairs. First, the FU onto the stairs by the hand of John Cena, and then the pedigree onto the stairs at the hand of Triple H. So he brings out the stairs. Brock better run. Now, would you say, based off of the fact that the logic behind Brock Lesnar being lifted to this level has everything to do with him beating the, the prestige of Undertaker... Now, if Ambrose beats him in this match, does that now put Ambrose above everyone else, or does that just simply move him up to A+. plus? Yeah, okay, so when it comes to that, it, it's all contextual. So if if Ambrose were to beat Lesnar, I would probably do. So I would probably put Ambrose in A+, plus, and then I would put... And then put Brock in A+, plus too. Yeah, that's what I would do. So nobody would be above anyone else. Tech, like, See, that's why we else. can't have we can't have Dean Ambrose beat Brock Lesnar. Like we we can't have this happen because it, you you basically make the S tier extinct. Well, that look that's only if he beats him clean. If he beats him via some shenanigans, I'm not gonna really. I'll probably put Ambrose in A plus, but I won't put Lesnar in A plus unless he loses clean. You know? See, my thing is, the reason why I brought this up is because I look at this match and I see the story is not Brock Lesnar here. The story is on Dean Ambrose. I think Dean Ambrose, win or lose, the story is going to be all about him. It's not about simply Brock Lesnar getting into the ring and beating the shit out of somebody. It's about Dean Ambrose surviving a beating, that's good. if that exactly. makes sense. Ambrose needs yeah. that. Like, but, like, here's my thing, though. Like, that dulls some of the shine that Brock Lesnar possesses. Like, this is going to be amazing for Dean Ambrose because I can see it in my head right now. Dean Ambrose getting the shit beat out of him, but then he, you know, stumbles and pulls himself up by the ropes to get to his feet, and the crowd goes wild for him. So no matter what happens in this match, if WWE handles it just 
just straightforward. You don't even have to do anything special. I'm just giving them the benefit of the doubt and saying straightforward. Just tell a straight story. Dean Ambrose is going to come out of this with a rocket strapped to his ass. But with the fact that it is focused on get, getting Dean Ambrose over, I think that that takes away a little bit from Brock Lesnar. Like, could you see this as the moment that we've all been waiting for when it comes to Brock? Because we've all talked about... um. Like, who, who is going to defeat Brock Lesnar? When is that moment finally going to happen? Could this possibly be that moment? No, I don't think I don't think Ambrose is going to beat Lesnar clean. I don't think he beats him at all, necessarily. I think that what we're going to get here is, I mean, again, not to like go off with predictions, but I, I really think that what this is meant to accomplish is to show you the toughness, the tenacity, the deranged, like, lunati- lunacy that is Dean Ambrose. We're supposed to really... I think this can really be like a, a, a character development build type of loss. Um, I don't know how else to describe it. I, 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 I guess you could I, – I, this is a really bad comparison in my own opinion, and I'm sure many will agree. But you know how Stone Cold losing that match to Bret Hart did so much for him. I think that this could do something for Dean Ambrose. I'm not saying that it can do for Dean Ambrose what that loss did for Stone Cold Steve Austin, but I'm just saying that it, it's the the fight in Ambrose that will get him that much further. Because I do really think they have some true plans for Dean Ambrose if they are going to put him against Brock Lesnar. They, they're not doing this for no reason. They're doing this because they see something in him. I also felt like there was quite a bit of focus on him in that triple threat match at Fastlane, which also to me was the first real indicator that they want to truly do something with this guy. And I love it.